It's children's time. Good morning, boys and girls. It's great to be with you again. And the summer has just been going along quickly. And so now we're into August and we're going to be thinking about um, going back to school. And we're going to be thinking about uh, promises that we make to ourselves or to others about how we want to do school this year or daycare or whatever you're going to be doing. So today we're going to talk about keeping promises. And the commandment that we will be talking about uh, in our worship service is do not commit adultery. And that's all about promises that adults make to each other. And so today uh, we're going to think about what that means for us kids. So let's talk about uh, keeping promises. Now, if you want people to keep their promises like other people, you will need to keep your promises. If you keep your promises, people will be able to trust you. They will believe you and they won't question or doubt you. And they're going to respect you. So, don't get fed up when someone has promised to do something and then doesn't. And, you know, sometimes it's perhaps a friend promises uh, to take you on a holiday with them. And in the end, you never get invited. Ooh, that kind of stings, right? Or perhaps uh, the neighbor promises you a bicycle and then he forgets about it. Or perhaps someone promises promises to take you to the pool and then gets too busy and it doesn't happen. So when things like that don't happen, then for some reason they're not keeping their promises and then we get really disappointed, don't we? But there is some really good news. And that is that God never breaks a promise. If God makes a promise, God always keeps it. There is even a sign in nature to remind us of this. What do you think that is? We saw one not long ago, a very beautiful one. And it was a beautiful rainbow. Remember, God promised Noah never again to send a flood as bad as that one that destroyed the earth, right? And God said the rainbow, which usually appears in the sky after a rain shower, will remind us that all God's promises come true. If you should decide to highlight in your Bible all of God's promises, let's say you do it with a yellow highlighter, your Bible will look like a field of sunflowers in places because there will be so many yellow lines in, it, in, the, in the Bible. And just think, God is going to keep all those promises and you can keep, count on God's promises. Have a good week.